There are 12 in this. And really, you can't count any of them out. Tom Byers is a natural front runner, so he may make the pace. But there's no question of this being set up. The first duty for Sebastian Coe tonight is to win the race. If he gets concerned with the clock, he might well lose it. He was disappointed with his Zurich run. He thought he could run faster than that. And certainly he seemed to lack confidence in the middle part of the third lap when he should have perhaps gone a bit earlier. So the lineup from the inside, Byers, Voigt, Coe, Marie, Scott, Walker, Bessinghager, Cochrane, Khalifa, Rob, Flynn, and Mustang. The Milers walk forward for the 1981 Golden Mile. Ball up to the track, and straight away, Byers holds the curve on the inside. Some bumping is the big field, and Ray Flynn took a knock there. So as they settle down, it's Byers leading. Sebastian Coe in second place. In third place, Mike Boyd, the African record holder. Fourth is Craig Masbach. Fifth is Eamon Cochran, the world indoor mile record holder. And Byers is taking them along quickly. Coe in second place, comfortably tucked in, and Boyd is third. And these three breaking away already. Cochran in fourth place, Robson of Scotland five. In sixth place is Craig Masbach. And Steve Scott, the American, got slightly left in the rush. The target time on the first lap, a world record pace, 55.63. Fires the rabbit who beat them all in Oslo in the Dream Mile. He leads. Cohen second place. And it is fast. 54.92 as against the world record pace of 55.63. Into the back straight, and Byers leading. Co second, Boyd third. They're already miles away from the rest. Steve Scott and John Walker haven't gone with the pace. Leading the chase is Khalifa of the Sudan. John Robson five, Cochrane six, Marie seven, Scott is eight, Walker nine, Bessingoga ten. And still Byers attacking in front. Co in second place, and Boyd stalking Co. Boyd who finished so fast in. Zurich behind Co. The next target time at halfway, 153.59. Tom Byers, who had a cold when he made the pace for Co in Zurich, looking very, very happy in front. Co in second place. The time at two laps. That is astonishing. Nearly three seconds inside of Ed's time. And Cohen said he just doesn't want to beat records by fraction. He wants to knock great lumps off them. And it is on for that. And Cohen the curb. He stumbled. Boyd in third place. And these three now 20 metres clear of Steve Scott. Baez moves out slightly. Cohen there in second place. Boyd is still haunting Co. And a really tremendous piece of pacemaking by Baez, who's had enough. Cole left in front, and he's got to go. Boyd in second place. And Boyd now with Cole. The battle between the Britain and the African world record holder. The target at three laps, 250.62. And they've slowed down. 251, just outside the record, and Coe really has got to run a tremendous last lap. He's got to be just over 57 seconds. Boyd is giving him a real race. Coe has got to try and break Boyd. 240 meters left. 200 meters, and Coe is anxious, but Boyd is not closing. Can Coe do it? He looks back again. He's tiring. Boyd is closing slightly. Where is the Coe kick? Coe coming away again. 50,000 people on there. Coe's roaring Coe home. He's got a tremendous revival there. And he comes home with a new world record. Three minutes, 47.3. Boyd in second place. But that is what Coe wanted to do. He's over a second in front of the world record. 
And this, really, you could call a miracle run. To take a second off that world record, over a second, really underlines what a superb athlete Sepko is. And where Sepko says the real satisfaction lies in putting the world record beyond reach, and he's done in the 800 meters, of course. Well, tonight, he may well have done that in the mile. So, for the third time in 10 days, the world mile record exchanges hands. And the sequence of Ko Ovet, Ko Ovet, is now back with Ko. While Ko and Ovet were having their private duel for the world mile record, Sidney Murray was making his own mark on the event on New York's Fifth Avenue. Thank you. 